Hi guys, so I actually managed to find some fruit <laughs> in the house so I decided to do a little live drawing of some oranges and today I'm going to be using fine liners um, instead of my usual 0 0.6 and 0 0.05 I want to use, ooh there's one with a brush ooh there's one with a brush, okay I might try that one actually right one with a brush uh, does it say the thickness? No, it just literally says <laughs> brush. And a fancier thick. I want a thick one. I've got a really thick. This is the thickest one I've got. 0 0.8. But I really want a small one. And a 0 0.1. I think that will do. Quite thick uh, fine liners, mostly. Because normally I do a really thick versus a very really thin but it's something different isn't it and as always this is an experiment I am not the best at drawing there are probably a lot more other artists that are much more better at drawing at me but this is my style this is how I like to draw I love it so what I've got to draw is two oranges one's kind of unpeeled sat upright whilst and the other one is Pilled into a split in half, so you've got segments exposed, and one part of it, well, a fourth of it is actually sitting on top of it as well. The other fourth, I ate. <laughs> I got hungry. Um, I really fancied some, fancied some orange. So what I'm gonna do is with my 0.8, I'm gonna start to draw the the kind of shapes. I want to investigate so this is drawing the full part of the orange okay, as always I like to do little marks and um, not the complete set because obviously you have to go over them and back through it and etc etc um open segment is here so you go up in again and round side that's got a bit of and then the open part it's kind of rounding down. Okay, just gonna move you up a little bit because as usual I have not got my position on the camera right. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, that is the basic I wanna say marks. Um normally a lot of people would probably draw a quick sketch of it in pencil, but I quite like to go forward in because one it saves time and two if you mess up, it doesn't really matter. You can kind of blend it in and see if it's workable if that makes sense I'll kind of tie it all in so this bit you've got the stub 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 it's probably a prof professional name for it it's like the st oh stalk <laughs> the professional name is just called the stalk um with a bit of shadowing down here and then goes to like dotty. You've got like the little paws. And you got another one. Oh, and FYI, I do have the computer on in the background. But I 100% assure you that I am drawing from real fruit this time. <laughs> Okay, 
make sure this looks like a actual orange, not a pumpkin, because that has been known to happen. So as usual, I like to draw my little light patch, but as kind of marks around it as drawing it through negative space. Um, so this one is quite shallow -y. I'm just going to draw a little bit of line. quite tight with time right now just because I'm about half an hour before I have like half an hour before I'm expecting a phone call so maybe starting a drawing before that time was not the best idea but you know what it happens doesn't it Okay, I'm going to leave that part because then I can kind of move on to this part, which is going to be quite tricky, I think. So I'm just going to do some shadowing. We heard that, that was my dad yawning. This part is going to need to look 3D. So I need to. Again, suggest that this is three dimensional by the direction of marks, which is never that easy because sometimes lines like to trick you with perspective. Um, I don't know if it's the same, called the same in, every, well, in everyone's art college, but that's what we called it. It's just where the, what, someone lies down, where the feet could look massive compared to the body, but it's just because of the position that they're in. But that's a lot more complex, not safe, and none of you are smart enough to understand but it's one of those things it get takes a while to get your head around because it's very easy to get the composition wrong when it comes to drawing that i found like some people will just get it straight away no problem but then there's some people just get it straight away okay looking good <laughs> and this is like this white kind of area so just gonna draw a couple of dots that's kind of a where the fruit meets the other part of the fruit there. <laughs> so descriptive. Um, actually, that's a false line. So I need to draw that a bit longer and wider. if there is anything that I do say that you don't understand uh, just leave it comment below well there's different words for different types of areas of Britain um, even if you're not British um, some people may think it's a bit weird as well so I'll try my best to answer it if I somehow miss you by accident I'm sorry obviously don't intentionally do it <laughs> um, 
I will answer it to the best of my knowledge. Okay, we've got another line coming down here. Okay, I really want to try out the kind of eyeliner pen or brush. And it got like a nice little pointy edge to it. So how I want to do this, I want to try it up here. And that for a start is I don't want to say amazing because I don't think it quite gets there. <laughs> Incredible. I'm going to leave that for a second, sticking up. really like that brush but you can go overboard so I'm just going to go back in with my not that one the 0 Oh, the paper I'm using is the sketchbook paper from a well it's from a, a ske well, sketchbook that I bought from Poundland. I've literally just folded an A4 piece of paper into obviously A5 and for those who don't, don't use that kind of measurement um, I can't remember I think it's half Oh, I don't know. I think A4 is 29.4 centimetres by 42 centimetres. I don't know what it is in inches, so I do apologise. <laughs> I'm sure if you Google it, you'll probably find out what size it is. I should probably know. I remember when one of my lecturers could literally recall the inches off of the paper. That he was using, and I was just like, it's a bit of a keen bean, isn't he? <laughs> but I suppose if it if it's useful, then it's, you, you'll learn it. This one's kind of looking a bit more like an apricot than anything else, but rather than an apricot than, I don't know. I was going to say genitalia then, but I better cut that out. <laughs> so after all that, I had a bit of a technical issue where it just stopped recording. <laughs> so um, this is basically the uh, end of the video, hopefully. I think I only cut out six minutes in but obviously six minutes can be a lot 
in a drawing. But, um, this is basically what I've done, how I've finished it. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, please let me know if you like this video and I shall see you next time, hopefully, with a fully recorded video. Bye, guys.